Hi, I'm Mike from Meebs Coffee Roasters and I'm going to show you how to use an espresso machine. This tutorial is broken down into several different videos. In this video today, we're going to be talking about dosing, tamping and extraction. The term extraction refers to the start and finish process of the espresso liquid being extracted out of the espresso machine. This tutorial is aimed at home-based baristas, but many of the principles can be applied to a commercial setting. My aim is to make this tutorial as simple as possible by breaking down some of the complexity into different practical steps to get you making good espresso at home right now. At the end of the series then I can discuss some other advanced methods and techniques in a video discussing things such as brew ratios, espresso recipes, fine tuning your espresso machine, pressures, temperature and some other bits and pieces. In the tutorial we're going to be using the Breville Brister Express. It is a really popular machine here. It's reasonably affordable, it's reliable and it's got the ability to make good espresso. Part 1 in this video is broken down into 5 different steps. Let's get started. Step number 1 is to clean and dry the portafilter. This handle here is what we refer to as the portafilter. And the first step is to remove it and we can use a rag or a dedicated tea towel to ensure that it is clean and dry. Step number two is dosing. Dosing is the process of adding ground coffee into the portafilter basket. So there are many ways to do this. This machine here has its own built-in grinder. A lot of machines have a separate grinder and some people use pre-ground coffee. The concept is the same, so the idea is that we're wanting to have ground coffee protrude the top of the portafilter basket. So not level, not underfilled, ground coffee that's basically overflowing and protruding the top of the portafilter basket. Let me show you. On the Breville machine here we have the option to go single or double. This refers to the size of the basket of the portafilter. This basket here is about a 17 or 18 gram basket from Breville and this is referred to as a double. The control over here is the grinder mount which allows us to adjust the volume of coffee that we're going to be dosing into the portafilter. So let's go ahead and start dosing the coffee into the portafilter. The goal here is that we're trying to achieve a mountain that protrudes over the top of the portafilter basket. As you can see here we have a decent mountain. Here's a small example of, of underdosing in having not enough coffee into the portafilter basket. Step 3 is distribution. Distribution is the process of ensuring that the ground coffee is even and level. There are many ways to do this including many different devices but for simplicity we're just going to tap the portafilter down on the bench once and we can also tap the side of the basket with our hand just to ensure that the ground coffee is even. The next step is tamping. Tamping is the process of applying pressure into the ground coffee until it is condensed into a puck. While tamping there are two main things to look out for here. One is to ensure that the tamp is level, that it is not skewed to one end. And the second is to apply a firm even pressure. I often get asked how hard we should tamp. The answer to this is to apply a firm even pressure using your shoulder until the ground compressed coffee reaches a stopping point. The fifth and final step is to start the extraction and time it from the moment that we press the button. Here is our extraction button because it is the, it is the double size button for the double portafilter that we're using. So I'm going to enter the portafilter into the machine and then press this double shot button here and I'm going to start a timer while we've started the extraction here. Extraction timing is a really important metric in getting a good cup of espresso. An extraction that is too slow will often be bitter and one that is too fast will often be sour and watery. 
So to change the extraction time, we're going to be focusing on one variable which is covered in the next video, and this is grind size. The variables that we discussed today, such as dosing, leveling, distribution, and the tamping, are all kept consistent in the same. And to adjust the extraction timing, we're going to be changing the grind size. So let's recap those five steps in pulling a good espresso shot. One was clean and dry the portafilter. Two is dosing, adding ground coffee into the portafilter. Three was distribution and leveling the ground coffee in the portafilter. Four was tamping. And five was starting and timing the espresso extraction. In the next video, we're going to be covering grind size. And grind size is one of the key components in getting a good espresso shot. If you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.